Hi, I'm Mark Barsamian with the Ohio University Math Department in Athens, Ohio. I'm the coordinator for the course Math 1350 Survey of Calculus. This is an introductory video for the Athens campus sections of that course for the spring 2022 semester. Now this is a large multi-section course. On the Athens campus we have 24 sections this spring semester. They're taught by various instructors. Uh, I won't be one of the instructors for any of those sections this semester. I'm the coordinator. That means that I have created the content for the course. Uh, I've written the homework assignments, the, my, the quizzes, the exams. I've created the meeting outlines for the Wednesday, Friday meetings that you'll have. I've created a large library of uh, instructional videos that accompany the homework assignments that you'll be doing. And I'll be supervising and consulting with the instructors that will be teaching the, the sections of the course. So throughout the semester, I'll be keeping tabs on how things are going. And if issues come up with certain students that need my attention, then I'll be involved with students individually uh, in those situations. Otherwise, you might not ever see me in person this semester, but you will see me on the videos you'll be watching as part of the homework assignments. So the first thing that we'll do in this video is we'll, we'll go to the Blackboard page for the course, and that'll be kind of our launching pad for all of the course information that we're going to want to look at. Here we are on my Blackboard page. Yours will look different, but you should see a list of courses that you're taking. I see a list of courses that I'm involved with teaching. Uh, I'll click on one of the Math 1350 sections. The Blackboard pages should look the same for all of the sections. So here's the Blackboard page for Math 1350, Section 100. Now you'll see that there's not very much stuff on here. Along the left side of the, the frame here, there are just a few menu items. We are on the course information page. Um, there is a link to what's called digital course materials. That's where you'll come to get access to what's called the MyLab system uh, for homework. Um, and you can also come here to send your instructor an email, and you can also come here to see your, uh, your current grades throughout the semester. The grades will be updated only every few weeks or so. Now, on this course information page, there are a, a couple of things. There's an immediate tasks, so you'll need to watch the introductory video, which you're watching now. You'll need to watch this video illustrating how to set up my lab. And uh, you'll need to follow this link to the Math 1350 webpage. So let's do that. Go to the Math 1350 webpage. Now, this is where most of the information for the course is posted. This is a publicly accessible webpage. It's not hidden behind Blackboard. I mean, we got here by going to Blackboard, but you can actually get to this webpage directly by just um, going to that URL. You can bookmark that URL and you can get to this web page uh, on any computer. You can get to this web page on your phone. Uh, so it's, it's publicly accessible. So this web page is about the Athens campus sections of Math 1350. Here's a list of all those sections, their meeting times, and their meeting location, and their instructors, and links to email for their instructors. There's a link to um, the video that you're watching now. There's also a link to the video illustrating how to set up my lab. Let's go on down the web page and talk about essentials about how the course works. The first thing I want to talk about is what's called the hybrid format of this course. Hybrid means that the course is taught in more than one way. In our course, the hybrid format means that we have two components. Course component number one is a collection of instructional videos developed developed for this course by me, by Mark Barsamian. These videos accompany the homework assignments for the course. There are uh, 90 homework assignments and there are 80 videos, so almost every homework assignment has a video. Now you can get to the videos in a, a variety of ways that are shown here on the web page. Let's go to the list of homework assignments. That's one way to see the videos. So there you can see this list of 90 homework assignments and each one of these homework assignments has some homework exercises. You'll be doing these in the MyLab system. And then there's a link to a video and a link to uh, notes. The notes are uh, just a PDF file um, that was used in the production of the video. 
So if you watch the videos and read these notes, that's the, uh, that's the content of the course. That's course component one, the mathematical content delivered by those instructional videos. Now again, this is a hybrid course, so there's another component. That's the Wednesday-Friday meetings. Those are led by the instructor. These meetings are held in person on the Athens campus, and the time and location is available at that list on the top of this web page. Um, also, you can go to the Ohio University course offerings web page and find the course uh, time and location there. Now, attendance at the Wednesday-Friday meetings is required. Now, these meetings are discussions. The purpose of these meetings is not delivery of mathematical content. Remember that the mathematical content is delivered through course component one. You're watching those instructional videos or reading the textbook. Um, course component two, these meetings are, are discussions. They're a chance for the instructor to highlight certain topics or perhaps uh, present some additional examples or perhaps pose questions that you students will answer. Also, and maybe most importantly, the class meetings will include presentations by you students. Now, uh, the presentations are of three types. The most common is that you'll present a basic example. It also might happen that you'll present part of an example that the instructor is presenting. Or maybe you'll just answer a question that the instructor poses to you. Um, these assignments will be uh, posted in the course schedule. We'll look at the course schedule in a little bit. Now, this might sound like a big deal to have to do presentations, but uh, in the past uh, few semesters that we've been doing the course this way, uh, students have very quickly found that the presentations are not a big deal. Uh, they're, they're very doable, and we'll discuss, discuss those more when we look at the course schedule. So again, the course has two components. The, the component number one, which is watching the videos to learn the mathematical content, Course component number two is the Wednesday, Fridays meeting, Wednesday Friday class meetings uh, where you have discussions and also have quizzes and exams. On those Wednesday, Friday meetings, you'll have every Friday either a quiz or an exam. So that's the course format. Let's go on down the web page. Let's look at the schedule. Here you can see that the entire semester is presented on the schedule in organized by weeks. So for instance, if you look in week two of the course, you can see the sections of the book that are going to be covered, the homework assignments that are going to be due during the week. You'll get the due dates uh, for those in the MyLab system. And then you'll see a, a list of all the topics for the meetings that week. So for instance, Wednesday, January 19th, here's an outline for the, uh, the, for the meeting. And here you see that um, a student is going to have a presentation that day. Student number five is going to make their presentation number one. Now, the presentations are always assigned here in this schedule, and they always have something like this, a hint explaining where to study, what video to watch, what notes to read in order to prepare for your, for your presentation. Now, who are these students? Who's student number five? Let's go back to the Blackboard page. If you go down the Blackboard page to the bottom, you'll see a list of student numbers. So for instance, for section 100 of Math 1350, student number five is Amelia. Well, not really. These are fake names. This list will be updated with the correct names on Monday, January 10th. But you'll, um, you'll get your student number here on the Blackboard page. You'll, you'll, um, you'll find your presentation assignments on the course schedule. So we've discussed uh, some of the essentials about how the course works, the hybrid course format, the schedule for the course that's available at this link. Now let's discuss the grading. The way the course is graded is as follows. During the semester, you'll, you'll accumulate a points total of up to 1,000 possible points in six ways. Attendance, there are 28 meetings worth one point each, so that's 28 points possible. Uh, presentations. Each of you will do five presentations during those class meetings. They're each worth seven points, so that's 35 points. Uh, homework. Um, there are 90 assignments, each worth one point. That's 90 points. Quizzes. There are 10 quizzes. They're each worth 25 points. I only keep the best eight of 10 quizzes. 
So that's 200 points possible. Uh, exams, um, there are four exams worth 150 points, but I only keep the best three of those for a total of 450 possible points. And finally, the final exam, which is worth 200 points. So again, at the end of the semester, you'll have a points total of up to 1,000 possible points. Your points total will be converted into a letter grade by first converting it to a percentage, your, your points as a percentage of how many points were possible, and then your percentage score will be converted into a grade using this percentage grading scale. So that's the, uh, the grading for the course. Required computer tools. Let's, that's another essential uh, about how the course works. Let's look at that. There are two required computer tools. One is Blackboard, which is free. You already know how to use that because you've gotten to this video by going to Blackboard. The other required computer tool is MyLab Math. That's an online system developed by Pearson, the publisher of our textbook. You'll use the MyLab Math system for accessing an e-text version of the textbook and also for doing homework assignments. Um, you'll access the MyLab Math system through Blackboard and there is an instructional video on Blackboard that shows how to get MyLab set up. There are some other computer tools that are useful. They're not required. Microsoft Teams is very useful. Um, you will almost certainly interact with your instructor at some point during the semester using Teams. Another useful computer tool is CamScanner. I'll let you learn about those by coming to this web page. So those are the essentials about how the course works. Now let me talk briefly about uh, immediate tasks for you. Uh, you need to follow the instructions to get MyLab configured. The very first assignments in MyLab, the first homework assignments, are due on Wednesday, January 12th. So in order to succeed in those assignments, you're going to need time to watch the accompanying videos and learn the content. So it's important that you get MyLab configured right away. Another immediate task is to go to Blackboard, find your student number on the Blackboard page, and make a note of your student number. And then what is your study routine going to be for this course? Well, there are two schedules that you need to keep an eye on. One is in the MyLab system, there's a list of homework assignments with due dates. You'll need to keep an eye on that schedule of upcoming homework assignments, do those assignments, and turn them in. And then the other schedule is the one that we looked at earlier. It's uh, the link to the, the schedule on this web page. And as I showed you earlier, on that schedule, there are um, presentations uh, described for you to do. So you'll need to keep an eye on that schedule to see if you have an upcoming presentation. Your uh, instructor won't be reminding you of upcoming presentations. Now remember that the, the skills that you need for the homework assignments in the class presentations are taught in the instructional videos that, that accompany the homework assignments. And the skills are also taught in the textbook. So the study routine is to keep an eye on these schedules, the homework assignment schedule in my lab, and the presentation schedule in the, in the course schedule on this web page. And also keep in mind, uh, as part of your regular routine, the uh, fact that there will be a quiz or an exam in every Friday meeting. Okay, just a couple more things. Uh, attendance policy is described here. Uh, instructions about what to do if you miss class because of illness. It's very important that you follow these instructions. Come to this web page, read these instructions about what to do if you're going to be missing class. Uh, it mentions that you will need to uh, learn what you missed by uh, copying a classmate's notes or reading the meeting outline. We saw one of those meeting outlines in the course schedule. Uh, and also by watching the instructional videos that accompany those homework assignments. Your instructor won't use office hours to teach stuff to you uh, for class meetings that you missed. It's just not feasible for instructors to provide that service. So it's up to you to learn the stuff that you missed. Now, if you miss a quiz or an exam because of illness, then you need to follow this procedure. You need to send your instructor an email before the quiz or exam, that is before the quiz or exam, telling them that you're going to miss the quiz or exam because of illness. And then you need to either go to the Student Health Center or consult with the OU COVID team if you are dealing with a COVID issue. And then you'll need to bring your instructor documentation from Hudson or, um, or a letter from the OU COVID team documenting 
your quarantine period or documenting that you were seen by a doctor at Hudson. Without those things, you won't be given a makeup quiz for being sick. You, you have to follow this procedure if you're sick in order to get a makeup quiz or exam. Now, if you are going to miss a quiz or an exam because of university activity, you also need to contact your instructor before the quiz or exam to arrange for a makeup. Now, if you're going to have travel plans that conflict with class that cause you to miss a quiz or exam, keep in mind that a quiz or exam missed because of personal travel plans cannot be made up. All 10 of our quizzes are, and all four of our exams are on Fridays, and we have a quiz on the Friday before spring break. Uh, please don't bother asking your instructor if you can make up a quiz or an exam because you're leaving early to extend your weekend or to extend your spring break. Uh, you, you don't get to make up a quiz or exam because of uh, personal travel plans. So if you miss a quiz or exam because of personal travel plans, it will just have to be a quiz or exam that's one of the ones that gets dropped. So that's the attendance policy. There's some more stuff on this webpage, information about extra help, the math tutoring lab, supplemental instruction, that is SI, um, and various other things that are, that are fairly self-explanatory. So I will let you read this webpage to find out that remaining information. Well, that's the Blackboard page and the webpage for the course. Uh, that's the course information. Um, that's all that I want to cover in this uh, introductory video. I want to keep it as short as possible. I want to wish you uh, the best of luck for this semester. You'll find that this course is a lot of work, certainly, but I hope that you'll find that it's productive work. In the past few semesters that we've been using this course structure that I described to you in this video, we found that students certainly do work hard, but we've also found that um, students seem to learn stuff. They The grades are good. Students um, seem to be engaged in the class discussions. So I, I hope that your work is productive work, and uh, I hope that you succeed, and I want to wish you every success. Take care.